Hello and welcome to another Solana and Computer Science tutorial. Today we're going to answer a question that I get quite a lot recently. When it comes to tokens, people seem to keep running into the same issues. So I decided, yeah, you know what, why, why not let's make a video about it, such that I don't have to explain it 200 times the same thing. I mean... You can watch it 200 times, I don't mind. Right, so we are talking about Solana, so let's quickly Solana keychain, make ourselves a new key pair uh, demo. And we're not gonna reuse that anyway, and we are also um, no config set url to devnet and then we set our key pair to this thing oh that's how it goes okay so we're on devnet we have this key pair sweet now, if we create a token, boom, uh, we need balance, that's true. Air yeah, drop. On uh, DevNet, it's easy to get balance. Let's try that again. So, we have created a token, 5, Z, U, O, and so on. And then we create an account for this token okay cool now we can say SPL oops, token accounts we have an account for this token but there's no balance yet okay cool but we can mint some okay so we can um, SPL token mint this token I don't know one token Boom. And then we have one token. Mm -hmm. Cool. So far, so good. The problem comes when people are like, Ooh, I want to mint a lot of tokens. So they're like, okay, let, let's do the mint. No, where's the mint? Where's the mint? Let's do 20,000 million Billion. Boom. Mm -hmm. Okay, that does not work. What does that not work? Okay, let's try try a bit fewer. That works. Mm -hmm. Why? So check the accounts again. Those are now one, two, three, one, two, three, two hundred thousand. That's still good, but as soon as we get to uh, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one million, that will still work, but as soon as we get to 10, that will not work anymore. Did it just mean? Oh, maybe that still works, but that won't work anymore. Ah, there we go. Okay. So SPL token accounts, we're somewhere here, and now I can be like, Meh. well, why can I, and now, now the interesting thing is it worked once, right? If I do it again, it doesn't work anymore, but I just did that, I just did, why, why does that not work anymore? Now you can go ahead and search, oh, what is the number that I can still comfortably uh, mint, Do I, can I do another five, oh no, I can't. Um, is there a zero too much? Oh yeah, that's okay. Um, now check accounts. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. So six. Uh, uh. Maybe, maybe I can do another one five. No, that won't work because there was ten. Okay. Okay. No. Uh. Maybe. Maybe another two. Oh, could that still work? Oh. Oh uh, yeah, that's gonna still work. But if I do that again, it will not work anymore. Oh no. What is the thing here? Okay. So. 
I think they get the point that there is a maximum number of tokens that you can mint and it is something with one eight. Um, I cannot have another one. What is that? Million? Da -da -da. Da -da -da. I cannot add another one million um, because 18 million is the maximum. I can now search, oh, what's the next number that I can comfortably do? Or I take the computer science approach and I find out why that is the case, that uh, this number is somewhat limited. And uh, then I can make a better estimate of how many tokens I can mint and how I can change that as well. Okay, that was a long intro. Now let's get down to it. The short answer, for technical reasons, you cannot mint more tokens. The long answer, and more detailed technical answer, well, the number of tokens that there are is stored as an unsigned integer with 64 bits. Now, what does that mean, Andy? Well, uh, computers store numbers in binary format, so zeros and ones. And if you and that thing is called a bit. And then if you have one bit, then you can store two numbers. 0 and 1. If we have 2 bits, then you can store 4 numbers. 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, and so on. And you can play that game. Uh, if you have 8 bits, then you can have 256 numbers, because 2 to the power of 8. That's a byte. And a U64 is 4 bytes, because 4 times 8 is 64, and 64, uh, 2 to the power of 64, let's calculate that, is the number of numbers that you can store in uh, a 64-bit integer. And that is that number, oh, 1.8 to the power of something. Okay, interesting. Let's format that. Uh, let's format that with a separator so it's easier to read. Cool. That's the number. Well, Andy, but that's more than what we had. We only had 18 million. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, fair point. Well, that's only if we have zero decimals. Then we can store that many tokens. The default on Solana, however, is nine decimals. That is working great. That is working great. I'm so good at uh, calculating things, mm -hmm. spreadsheet things. So, um, whenever you add a decimal, wait, no, you lose one. Uh, you divide it by 10, essentially, the number of full tokens that you can do. If you have zero decimals, you can do that many. And if we have nine decimals, oh wonder, here we are at the 18 freaking million. We can make 18,446,744. No, wait, billion, billion, not million. Uh, 18 billion million thousand tokens right and that matches with what we have here approximately right so in our oh come on what is going on here I, that, this amazing amazing how it all writes that um so we could do another oh man can you clear that please never mind you get the idea <laughs> Um, we could do another uh, two, uh, 200 million, I guess, mint them and that would still work. If you play that game further, of course, you can have more decimals and... Uh, come on. And then uh, you could also do fewer tokens, but therefore you have more decimal places that you can work with. And the interesting thing also, 
it's always just stored in that one integer value, this one 64-bit number. And internally, it will just multiply that with 10 to the power of your decimals. So essentially, if you have no decimals, then the number stores your full tokens. It does so with NFTs. But if you have decimals, then it will take the number of tokens that you want to send, multiply that by 10 to the power of the decimals of the token, and that's the actual value that is sent. Like Because also Solana, think Lampert, that's also like uh, nine decimals. Nine decimals of one sol is Lampert, you know, like... So one billion... Lamperts are a soul or something. And when you send soul to someone, it's also calculated in Lamperts. So if you send one soul, then it's this one is multiplied by 10 to the power of 9. And then that is sent. And the balances are kept in Lamperts. Then they don't do bookkeeping in, in decimal value, like in, in comma values. You shouldn't do that. You should never use a, a, a floating point number to, to store uh, exact things. That's one basic thing that you learn in computer science. Always use int, but then shift the decimals. And that's exactly what Solana is doing here, which is shifting decimals. So if you ask me the question, how many decimals should I select for my token? then I usually ask the question back, well, how many tokens do you want to create? If you want to create more than 18.4 billion, then you need to have less than nine decimals. If you want, you know, uh, here you have you, you have your, your table. If you want to create, I will not even try to uh, see what name that is. Okay, let's do it. Thousands, millions, Billions, trillions, quadrillions, quad, co quant, quant, quadrillion, quintillion. I'm, I'm so bad, at this, especially in English or in general. If you want more than 18 quintillion tokens, then well, you're fucked. Essentially, you can't do that. You can't have more than that. You cannot have more tokens than that. And, um, yeah. But then if you select zero, then, of course, you can't do, you know, decimals to your tokens. It's just, you know, totally up to you. Um, I would use a decimal number that you're comfortable with. You can go with the default of nine if you don't need more than that, those tokens. But... Since most or some of the people like to create meme coins, which uh, like to have a shit ton of supply, you need less decimals. That's the long story short, essentially. Yeah, now I've ranted enough about tokens just because I got yet another question. Why can I not create more tokens? That's why. Because you set the decimals to 9. Because 9 is default. That's why. Okay, I hope this video was helpful. Quick little rant about Solana tokens and a little bit of computer science right here for you. If it was helpful, give me a like, subscribe to this channel and uh, let me know what else you want to hear or join the Discord um, where you can come with your questions and I try to answer them. Uh, and if I get a lot of the same questions, then I'll make a video about it such that I don't have to always individually answer. Yes, if you have more questions on that, if it wasn't understandable because my computer science mind is uh, three steps ahead of your non-computer science mind, then uh, feel free to also ask in the comments or in the Discord. And uh, otherwise, I hope that this question will now not arise anymore. So until I see you in the next tutorial, bye-bye.